Um, today I want to continue our series, um, what I was explaining to you guys in the last series, um, what we're going to do is we're going to take our power that we used to have running. Um, it makes no sense to have a power running from our, our home run, we should say this will be, uh, into our switch box coming back up for our switch leg. Uh, well, we can run it from here to here for cheaper and here to here or here to here for cheaper as well in one shot runs. Let me explain how we would do this instead of using two pieces of wire, we would use one piece of wire. Um, we also use less straps, etc, etc. So without further ado, let's get started. The first thing I did was I removed all the staples that was previously up here um, and we're going to remove the wire from here. Um, but the first thing we got to do is let's take off this light. I'm going to remove it a little bit easier. Okay, we have a power, our neutral, take this one off, and our hot, take this one off. Both of them are off. Leave the keyless down to the side. We're going to pull up our wire, stick a screwdriver in here. This little point on the screwdriver, I push that down to open it up. It's better if you straighten out your wires so you don't have the shepherd hooks at the end. <laughs> now I'm going to take the wire out of here. Save these screws for your face plate. And pull out while you're doing it. Okay, pull straight out. Everything comes in winding. Let me do that. And then your white, since your white was always tied in, it'll be off to its side. So, we know this is your power leg and this is the switch leg. So we know we have to take off one of these switch legs, actually both of these switch legs, because they both go up top. So we're gonna remove the switch legs, because we're not even gonna have these power anymore, or anything like that. The only one that we're gonna save is that bottom wire that 14.2 going to that GFI, GFCI. Okay, remove the wire, remove the wire, and we're gonna have to remove this one too, but we can do that from the wire now. Okay, remove these. And remove this one. Now what we're going to do is grab our lens. I'm just going to cut them off. And since. One of this is the hot leg for the GFI, so I don't want to cut it because i got to keep that six inches. Remember. If you want to look inside, after we get this one done, the two copper wires. Okay, these two are the whites going from the top wire. We're going to grab this wire, we're going to separate these all out real fast. This copper one goes to the bottom. This one goes up top. We're going to remove all of these and we're going to save these. So let's bend them down back this way and we're going to straighten these all out. Probably just cut them to save some time for the video. Um, snip and snip and snip. All right, we're going to grab our wires from the bottom, push these down top, and close my partition wall. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to run the power from here to here, what we're going to need is 14 2 wire. And we're going to stick this one for here right now. I'm not going to strap this down. This is a 15 amp circuit, so we're going to use 14 3. It has a red, a black, a white, and a copper for the ground. We're going to stick this one through the bottom. Figure that we're going to need about that much. Unwrap the wire this way. So you don't kink it up. Nice for an inspector. 
Okay, I know I'm going to need about this much. So I'm going to cut it. And again, my knife isn't that sharp. It's dull. So, as I said before, my knife is dull. <laughs> People say you don't use the exacto knife. Yeah, you're not supposed to. But it's nice because you can put the blade away. You can change the blade. You don't have to sharpen it ever. And sometimes you do have to sharpen it a little bit. Dull blade is a dangerous blade. Okay. So now what we're going to do, stick it in the far one away. We always want the far one away. And the reason why is because of the three, or the inch and a half rule because of sheetrock. Okay, so we got this one all done up. Nice and tight. Quarter inch insulation in the bottom. Nice and tight. Not too tight, because inspectors might be like, oh, you're too tight, you do this and this and this. Right here, I'll put a need for length on this one. Keep it nice and tight. Come out. You can always be long, but you never can be short. So, I might as well give yourself some length. So, what we're going to do is we're going to figure it out. When it comes out to the farthest one away, it's a quarter inch out for insulation. Score it, score it, and peel it. Take the paper off the ground, and then at the same time, we put them both in. Sorry. <laughs> farthest from the way and that's a quarter inch in and that's a quarter inch in. So now we come back to center inch and a half in because the little sheet rockers come in you don't want them screwing in and being like nope not cool. Now we have our power. Um, I'm going to strap it down in here too, because you got to be within six inches. I'm pretty sure it might be four now. Um, six inches from the hole, you have to have it strapped, where it goes into a hole or somewhere. I usually put about two, three inches up. And this, from this strap to this strap, has to be within four feet of each other. I always have to be strapped down within four feet. Uh, I think it's within six inches, it might be within four now from a box, which I did it here, within four inches or six inches from the hole, which is here. It's either four or six. Be safe, stay four, strap her down four. Um, farthest one away, again, if this is a joist, you would want to be on top, you never want to drill through. Be hot. So I'm going to tie these up so I know when I wire them. I'm going to tie these one up. So I'm going to wire this one up, and then the commons, we wire it up, plus a pigtail for the, um, for the light. So these ones are going to come across, and this is going to be my traveler at that point. Black going out for power. Black coming in. This will be our power on this side. Our constant power will be here. Our neutral, everything else. Let's grab my pliers, make sure they're at least six inches out. I'm gonna use this one from before. Let's grab this. Get it nice and tight where it starts coming across. Like a rope. Bend this over. Leave this. Okay, your white and your neutrals. We're gonna keep those. We're gonna cut those up, splice those ones together. It's a lot simpler doing it this way. Same length. Put them on the same. Two ends together. Nice and tight. You don't want these things arcing. And when you look down, you shouldn't see any copper coming out the bottom or the top of this head. You shouldn't see any better copper like you do right here. 
If you do, that's bad. So what we're going to do is we're going to bend them up like before. Stick them back inside there. Okay. Now we have our power to our receptacles as the last one. So we're going to have the power to switch with that. Okay. So we're going to come across here. Cut this one off. Square it up. Strip it. And since we, this is going to be our switch leg, we got to grab our switch leg. Oh, that's big. No copper coming down, like so. Have that. Bend it over like so. Okay. <clears throat> so now we can start bending these back. Putting these in. Bending them, bending them, bending them. Before we get too carried away though, we're going to make some shepherd's hooks. We know this one's over six inches, even though it's protruding out only about four or five. I know if I pulled it out, it would be longer than six inches. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this one to be over six inches long. Strip it out. Make both of these with shepherd's hooks. Bottom. Shepherd's hook goes to the right, like so. Again. Like so, make sure the on and off. Off, it should be up on top. On should be bottom. Okay, take these. Squish these ones back. Bend them in. Top to bottom, top to bottom, top to bottom. And they should be going straight back. Push it in straight back, and straight back, and now, hopefully, my box has been taken apart so much, I can just use my speedy. It's a little tight, but it'll work. Put the faceplate on, put my speedy for that. Straight up and down, everything unison. I don't care if it's sideways, I don't care if it's kicked 15 degrees, 45 degrees, whatever you want to call it. But they have to be all to me. This is a little point of interest. All right, for real power. So we have our ground. Pull these apart. These bad boys together. Hope it's not the same one I had put in before. No, nope, it feels good. Just bend it, bend it, bend it. Like a slinky. Oh yeah, we know our blacks are connected. And we know our whites are connected. So let's do our blacks real fast. Well, six inches out, cut her before, strip her down. So these ones are going to be connected now. Bend these back up, slap her in. All right, so now we have the switch leg coming across. This is our power. So we're going to connect this one to the bronze side and we're going to connect these ones but we have to have a pigtail coming off because of the whole uh, splices and everything else. I'm going to go six inches out here and I'm going to do the same thing. So I'm going to save this one for our switched leg or for our neutral. 
So let me strip this. And one more for my shepherd's hook. Bend that one over. All right. First one we're gonna do is the white, the commons, the neutrals. Pull those together. Spin them all up. Nice and tight. Tight, 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 tight. Take this one. Six inches out. A little bit more. Six inches. Strip it out. Shepherd's hook. Okay. This is a hot. This is our traveler. This is our hot traveler. So this one goes with the bronze. Shepherd's hook to the right. And now, the neutral, common, silver, chrome, gray, whatever you want to call it. Get the hole. Nice and tight. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. Now I'm gonna button these up. If you guys have been watching the videos before, you know how much of a bear this one is to screw up in there. So let me hook this one up real fast. See if I can do this with one finger or one hand. Hopefully that's in there good. Um, nothing's on right now. So let me throw the switch. And we have light. Let me go down here and turn this on. And we got all yellows. And I'm gonna blow the GFI. The next video I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take out this receptacle and this GFI receptacle. I'm going to do a three-way switch over here. And if this was a hallway and you had a light in the middle, I'm gonna put another one over here, another switch. Um, so what we can do is, if you want to turn it on over here, you can turn it on. If you want to turn it on over here, you can turn it on. Or vice versa, you can turn it off and on, and, or off and on the same switch. And we'll show you guys how to do that. So, um, stay tuned. Um, thanks for watching the videos, learning something, I hope. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please like and comment down there. Uh, again, this is only um, Romex 14.2, uh, 14.3. For a 15 amp circuit, uh, 20 amp circuits for like kitchens and bathrooms and everything else. Me personally, I think they should all be 20 amp now service because with all the loads that we draw from computers and all electronics and everything else compared to the 80s, we should probably have a little bit more amperage. But that's just me. So thanks again for watching. Uh, hello, my new subscribers. Hello, my old ones. Um, I know I say it all the time, but I really do mean that. Um, take care, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.